Uh, I just have two, two tasks here, and then uh, we'll let you brave the Delhi traffic and air. Uh, uh, one is uh, they asked me to give you some takeaways. I won't take more than uh, five minutes of your time on this. And the second, much more important, is to, to thank uh, uh, everybody. So I can't really give you a summary of this enormously rich discussion. Um, but let me just give you, share with you three takeaways from uh, uh, my point of view. Uh, one is, uh, uh, I think that we all came in here as a, uh, a selected crowd, really convinced uh, about this. But my takeaway from this is that there were really three important reasons, one takeaway is three important reasons why we believe in this, um, in, in this topic. One is that we really believe, I think, and we saw that through all the sessions, that um, open uh, data and sharing research improves decisions that affects people's lives. And, and, and from that point of view, um, it really will help in development. Uh, the second uh, thing that I, uh, I, I thought about um, is that it not only improves those decisions, but it can also improve the quality of the research. That uh, there were many examples in which people said, if you have um, open access, it'll actually put pressure on the researchers to take care of their data and to make sure that it's, it's really good. And, and the third reason that uh, I think our being here has been, been validated is Professor Marx reminded us today, it is a moral responsibility that we have as researchers. It is a human right. And now uh, bought, brought, uh, basically supported by every country in the world, except for perhaps North Korea, uh, that uh, it's part of the SDGs. So that, that's one take of I have that we all came here for really good reasons, and, and that's been validated. Uh, the, um, uh, the second takeaway is, uh, what I learned a lot is, uh, where does India stand in all of this, in this journey towards uh, uh, open data? Uh, and I think the kind word for this has a long way to go. Uh, I'm not going to mention again the word pathetic that somebody mentioned earlier uh, today. That's a good thing, because when you're at the bottom, there's no way to go but up. So people talked about India is headed in the right direction. There are things out there that are happening, partly affected by outside the outside world, but partly also internally uh, generated. Uh, and people said they were optimistic. They were excited uh, about the future for, for open data here in India. And, I, and I, 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 I'm heartened by that. Uh, one is that uh, uh, the data access has a lot of implications for governance and, uh, and, and, and data quality. And there was a lot of discussion about how using data and access to data for accountability can have positive and negative uh, uh, ne uh, negative um, uh, effects. Uh, so uh, I thought that was interesting. The positive thing, of course, is that it can inform uh, everybody. And we all talked about the, uh, the negative effects of uh, the data quality. Um, if it's really just for accountability, uh, could actually be made to lie because there's too much at, uh, at stake. And so that, that I think, was, was really interesting. And uh, I think that from that point of view, perhaps the whole notion of data access for learning instead of accountability may be uh, uh, another alternative way of, of looking at this. So I think that's a, a really interesting topic for a future conversation. The second is uh, how and when data is shared can have political ramifications. Uh, we all know of stories, and there was some brought up today, that uh, data that is timed to be released just before an election may have very different implications from if it's released after. And that's part of the, our moral responsibility as researchers to really ask some very difficult questions of when to, to do that. So that's the second thing that I think is really going to be, would really be uh, interesting. Uh, the third is this whole issue that we just talked today about uh, the whole ethics of what it is that, uh, uh, that uh, we're, 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 we're doing here. And we are informing people uh, that's great data access, more information uh, that has ethical dimensions, as I mentioned earlier, as part of our moral responsibility. But we were cautioned in the panel 
uh, about the privacy issues uh, that are really paramount. And the fact that the privacy issues for the vulnerable are different from the rest of us is quite palpable. Now, I, am, I feel aggrieved if Amazon or Facebook takes my data and uses it for other things, but I chose to actually buy something from Amazon. The vulnerable had no choice. <laughs> And uh, I think that is a, a fundamental ethical issue that uh, we have to worry about. So those are just my some takeaways, which I hope will uh, actually be uh, something that we could continue the conversation. As we all said, this is just the beginning of a conversation. Uh, and with that, uh, let me just do my last task, which is to uh, do some thank yous. And uh, I won't be able to say all the names, but um, my, my f first and my, my, most, uh, my deepest thank you is to Segal, to uh, Ajay, Niti, Aparna, and the whole team here uh, for really introducing us to uh, uh, the community here in India that is uh, fundamentally involved with this topic. So thank you again, and we hope this is, as I said, the beginning of a uh, uh, warm and wonderful relationship in the, uh, in the future. I also want to, of course, uh, thank uh, all of uh, my team. Uh, there again, I was cautioned that Manny, you always miss someone, so don't mention all the names. Um, but uh, there are three in particular that I would like to uh, to mention, um, and that's uh, Marie, uh, Nita, and Shayok, and 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 Didi. That's four uh, who have really uh, uh, been uh, work doing a lot of the heavy lifting. But there are many, many others on our uh, evaluation team and our um, advocacy and communications team uh, that did a lot of lifting also. Uh, so I'd really like to thank them. And finally, I want to thank all the panelists and the audience for what has been a truly uh, uh, mind-opening day for all of us. So thank you very much. <laughs>